Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to talk about something different today. Something I haven't really discussed much of, but I feel like I need to discuss this. When you're a victim of abuse, you're always going to defend the person that is abusing you. You are always going to make excuses for the person that is abusing you. You're also going to make comments. Or sorry, people will make comments about, you know, the person abusing you and you're not going to listen. That person will then convince you that everybody that you have in your life is bad or bad news. And will start to get you to alienate your friends give you a reason and excuses as to why but then again not everybody's perfect we as women and men that are going through physical mental and emotional abuse need to find our voices again if somebody in my life is going through an abusive situation and I feel it from them I'm going to tell them I had a lot of people in my life pretend that abuse wasn't too bad and would ignore it because of who it was coming from. But I'm going to tell you something. If somebody is abusing a friend of yours, if somebody is abusing you, if somebody is abusing anybody that you know, say something, whether it be to the person that's being abused, whether it be to somebody in their family that doesn't know, just say something. It is not okay to be a victim of abuse and allow to take your voice away. A few signs to recognize. They won't want you to go anywhere without them. They'll tell you to stop trusting people. They will limit you spending money. They won't really care if you want to spend money or not. And each and every single situation is different. But it is definitely not okay to allow them to take your voice. It is definitely not okay for them to mold you into what they're looking for. Abuse victims need to start to walk away now. There are people that use abuse and abusive situations as excuses to stay. I can't find anybody else. My kids are attached. I don't wanna take my children away from their mother or father. The worst thing you can do is let those children stay in that situation. So from what I can see and what I recommend is to find a plan. It may seem impossible. Usually the people that are abusive are the breadwinners. Reach out to whomever, anybody that you trust and tell them the situation because I guarantee there are people that are willing to help you out. I'm willing to help people out. If anybody ever needs anything from me, support-wise, or just need a friend to talk to, I will be there for you. And I will also lead you in the right direction. This is something that is very serious and is still going on. Too much, in my opinion. I have multiple. Another thing I will mention in regards to this is if you have a friend or somebody that is going through the same situation, be patient with them, listen to them. They may say things that are out of character and they'll say these things because this is what their abuser has told them about you specifically. But listen to what they have to say. Be patient as well because abused people don't realize it during the time frame that they're being abused. Just remind them gently that you're there for them. One day they will figure it out and consistently show them that they have options and they are not alone. And that should go definitely a long way. And don't victim blame people. That's something that's really messed up. If somebody is going through something terrible and you throw a blind eye and you know that the situation isn't okay, but you're scared, don't try to be a hero and, 
you know, speak to the abuser because the abuser will continue to tell the abused person that you're not a good influence in their life and they will eventually listen. How you handle this situation, you come up with a plan and you make sure that the abused person knows that they are going through this and that they are not alone and be very patient. Thank you so much for listening to me and I hope this makes sense to you. And again, anybody needs anything, I'm here.